Hey guys, Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So, here is my Tablet Express Dragon Touch X10 tablet. It's been an awesome tablet. Still works great for me. I'm sure you guys are happy with it too, if you have it. So, when I got it, it came with Android 4.4.4. As of recently, they've updated to Android Lollipop 5.1. I want it. If you guys have 4.4.4, I'm sure you want it too. I've actually heard there's been a performance improvement and I'm going to take advantage of that. It's pretty fast as it is now. What if I can get that much more? So I'm going to do that today with you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and update this Tablet Express Dragon Touch X10 to Lollipop. So a few things we need. A computer. I have my notebook. It works on a notebook. Of course the tablet and a USB cable. We're going to plug one end to the computer and the micro USB end to the tablet. But don't just rush and do it real quick. There's a process and I'll show you guys how real quick. So come over here and let me show you my screen. Alright guys, so again we're going to be updating our Tablet Express Dragon Touch X10 to Android Lollipop 5.1. So what we need to do first is open up a browser. I'm going to use Chrome. You can use Firefox or IE, whichever you prefer. Go to www.tabletexpress.com. All right, and then here we're going to go ahead and scroll down and click on the X10 down here. Okay, so from here we scroll all the way to the bottom and we'll see towards the bottom installation manuals and drivers. So we'll go ahead and click on there and that'll take us to the support page. Of course you could have always gone to www.tabletexpress.com forward slash support forward slash index forward slash download forward slash 917. But either way, from here we scroll down a little tiny bit we can see the download section, PC tool, you're going to want to click to start downloading that. It's going to take you to the Amazon Cloud Drive and then you just click download here or actually select it and click download. You are going to need for example 7-zip or WinRAR to extract a RAR file but I'll leave that up to you and then we go back to support and then we click on, you're going to have two options here. One for X10 HT PW V1 AL51. That's Lollipop right there. Down here, that's 4.4.4. We don't want that one, so click on this one. And again, select it and download it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close the browser out because we actually already have them downloaded on the desktop. So now that you have WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever decompression program you choose, you're going to want to go ahead and right click on the program, select 7-Zip and select extract to X10 blah blah blah. It's just going to go ahead and extract it right here on the desktop. That's going to take a few seconds. This is also a slow laptop, but either way. All right, so when that's done, it'll just close out. Next, we're gonna want to unzip the Phoenix uh, software. That's the software you use to flash it with. So right click on it and extract here. That'll be a quick one. Okay, there we go. So now we go to the Phoenix folder and double click on the Phoenix USB Pro to install it and basically just click next all the way through that'll take a second or two it will prompt you that a driver is uncertified unverified a big red window is going to pop up don't be frightened by it just click I accept and close it here I've already installed it before so that error, that message didn't pop up for me, but if it pops up for you, just accept it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so next we're going to want to go ahead and 
click on this new icon that just came up, double click on it, and that's going to bring up the Phoenix USB Pro. Now, from here, this is where it starts to get a little bit frustrating. Probably better to click no, you don't want to update it. This is just to update the version of the Phoenix software. We don't care about that. As soon as we're done, we'll just uninstall it and click no to update it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start off by clicking on the key file button up here. So we click key file. Okay, so this is going to go ahead and immediately look for wherever the key file may be. The key file is actually going to be inside of the Phoenix USB Pro software folder that we just extracted out here in the desktop. So on here, just go ahead and double click on that and click on aw underscore lc tools dot key. Double click on it. All right. So that's going to show you here the path to that key file you just installed. So now up here, we're going to go ahead and click image. So we'll go back to the desktop where we extracted it to. Here is the X10HT, that folder we extracted over here. All right. And then here we're going to find the X10 5.1. Again, this is Lollipop. So we're going to go ahead and double click on it. And then you'll see here under image, the file path to that image. So now from here, we're going to want to click start. Okay. So now that we've clicked start on the tablet itself, we're going to go ahead. You'll notice right up here, there is the power button, the volume up and the volume down. So what we're going to go ahead and do is while holding the volume down button, I'm going to go ahead and again, while holding the volume down button, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the tablet and tap the power button 10 times. You hear a little ping, ping sound. That'll be the device starting to pick up. You'll notice the root hubs and all the devices start picking up. And slowly but surely, you'll notice from one of these ports, it may be different. One of these progress bars starting to progress. It'll start at 7%. You can see here. And then it'll go up slowly. So I'm going to go ahead and let go of the power button now. And then if we keep watching here, we'll notice the percentage start going up slowly. The whole process took about five minutes, maybe a little bit less. I just sat here watching the entire thing, so it felt like a lifetime to me. But now we'll see everything's done here. We have the little green check up here. So we're done with the computer. You can see down here, series one, I assume that meant success. And down here, total one. Definitely don't want to see anything under failed, any number aside from zero. If you do, you might want to start the whole process again. So now we'll just disconnect the tablet, move it aside, move the computer aside. And go ahead, turn her on. It's the first boot up, so it might be, take a little long. All right, now we're at this screen. We're at the very beginning. Just slide it. All right, and it's kind of going to be like 
you're on your tablet for the first time, I assume it's going to erase everything I put in there. Um, let's see. Yeah, everything I had in there is gone. So just remember that for yourselves. When you do the update, you will lose everything on your tablet. That's okay for me because I only, you know, had work stuff. I had a bunch of games too that I would play every night. But, you know, I would use this tablet every single night and when I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> and, you know, I would use it throughout the day a few times a day. I've never had issues with it. But everybody wanted to know how to update to Lollipop. And, well, I wanted to also. So, here's my video showing you guys how to. I will not lie to you. It took me about an hour to get to that point. I never flashed it before, but I got to where it started, was about to flash, and then I knew, okay, now I know how to do it, so I can show you guys now. Do not get frustrated. It's not simple. It's top to bottom. What you have to do is go to Tablet Express's website, download the PC software, and the 5.1 image. Once you've downloaded it, extract them with let's say WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever piece of software you may use to extract RAR files, R-A-R files. After that, start up the PC Tools imaging software or the Phoenix software. All right. After that, load the key. The key is inside of the PC Tools folder. After that, load the image file the image file is in the other folder the image folder that you've downloaded the .img file then click start once you've clicked start make sure that the USB cable is connected to the computer then on the tablet itself press and hold the down the, the button to lower the volume I've shown you in the video and when you're done there after pressing and holding the volume down button make sure you connect the micro USB end to the tablet I forgot to say that in the video so that should be step number 10 okay while holding volume down connect the micro USB button so you gotta use two hands crazy Tap about 10 times the power button. 10 times the power button. That's going to start up the Phoenix software, download to updating the software. It'll take about five minutes, okay? It may not work for you the first time. It may take a few tries, but once you see that number go from one you know, to seven to whatever number, it's flashing, don't touch your tablet, let go of that power button, of the, I'm sorry, let go of the uh, volume down button, and just give it a minute. When you see that Phoenix software complete, you know, there's no more progress button, that little check mark is green on the type right hand corner, you're good, you're uploaded, you're updated, and well, you could just turn on your tablet, as you saw me do, and then you'll get the introduction to Lollipop. So now I have some learning to do. Pretty excited. It's almost like getting a brand new tablet. Again, well, because you've wiped everything on there. Everything's brand new. As you can see here, no bloatware whatsoever. One of the things I love about Tablet Express, um, no bloatware. One thing I am a bit upset about in settings, I showed you in the review, oh, this is brand new, okay, <laughs> under about tablet before, they, oh, they took it down, okay, there was an upgrade button up here, an update button, and if you click search, there was some misspelling in there, no matter how many searches you did, you were not going to find anything, and I guess while they figure that out, it's gone now. It, again, was at the top. You can see right here, we're at Android 5.1.1 and that firmware version 2. 
So anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger. Again, showing you guys how to update your Tablet Express Dragon Touch X10 tablet to Android Lollipop. Er, 5.1.1. Iggy with Dragon Blogger up. See you guys.